Hi everyone, my name is Ashley, A-S-H-L-I-E, and please don't forget to subscribe to me. Today I'm trying out a new palette. It is the ABH Norvina Collection, volume number three. I am extremely excited to be using this today because normally it goes for $65 and I got it 80% off. It was approximately $26. Try to open this sucker so I can show you the amazing color story. Here it is. I definitely, since I'm wearing a purple shirt, want to dabble in some of the purples. Just, I want to do a nice, colorful, bright look. And I love how big this mirror is. It is ginormous. It is nice, big pan sizes. I just really want to see the quality, if it's buildable. I just, all in all, think it's an adorable palette. And the other palettes that I have from the ABH collection are phenomenal. I have no complaints. So get comfy and without further ado, let's get right into the makeup look. For face primer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It is one of the most affordable, amazing primers that I have. You just dip your finger in and just start rubbing it right into your skin. And with this product, a little bit goes a long way. For eyelid primer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Nude Tone Primer. And I personally like to put a little bit on the bottom lash line as well because I always put color down there and I want it to stay down there as well. Then I just take a finger and start blending it all over the eyelid. Just trying to see what color I want to start out with. I'm going to start off with A1. It's like this, uh, it kind of looks like a lime green, like yellowy color. Just start putting that all over in the crease. Next color, I'm going to go in with this purple right here. Start working that on the outer corner of the lid for the most part. So far the colors seem to be very pigmented so you have to be light-handed and they are easy to build and they blend together without looking like mud which is awesome. They're Definitely nice and colorful. And go back in with that first lime green color, A1. Just place and bring that back to the front. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit darker of a purple. Here is what it looks like. It's right under the other one. I'm going to go into a nice bright orange right here on the top it is a two I just want to take a little bit of that orange just to tie everything together on the top and go into C1 it's more of like a gold shimmer and put some of that right under my brow line I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a flatter brush and just start packing in, I'm gonna try E4, this nice yellow at the bottom. Just start packing that right in the front of the eye. Mm, kind of a little patchy right here. Let's try a flatter brush and try spraying it as well. There's an even flatter brush from Alamar. I'm gonna dip into the yellow. I get my e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. And just, just spray that. And just start packing that with the spray while it's wet. Go into this gold color. Maybe that'll help from the patchiness. It's still very... Okay, instead of yellow, I'm just going to try to use a shimmer. I am going to try to go into this gorgeous teal color. It is C5. 
five. Here's what it looks like. It is absolutely stunning. I have to say the shimmers in this palette are incredible. I think it just looks stunning. For the middle to tie those two colors together, I'm going to be using D2, which is kind of like this rose gold type shimmer. And I'm just going to use my finger with this one. My middle finger. No, I'm not giving you the middle finger. I just want to start popping that with this right here. Now with the lighter one in C1 right here. Just gonna go right over the middle just to lighten that up a little bit more. Going with that first purple color I was using just to blend these colors together a little bit better. I'm gonna dip into E5 because it looks like it's such a pretty purple shimmer. And just put that right on the outside on the other purple. Now I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It is waterproof liquid liner in Trooper Black. Okay, wings are on. Next, I want to jump in and do my eyebrows. Just going to use this little guy from Tristique in the shade Americano. Goes right along with the natural shape of your eyebrow. The foundation I'm going to use today is from Rare Beauty in the shade 210N. I love their packaging. I think it is just so adorable. Put a few dots all around my face. Okay, so far so good. You could tell how dewy and hydrated my face is with this foundation. It is so good if you have dry skin. I go in with one more layer. Okay, there is the foundation. Next, I'm going to go in with a cream contour from Milk Makeup. It is in the shade Belize. And it's a little scary looking at it, but it blends down. Shit. Hold on, I drop everything. I'm back. So, I just take a little on the top of my ear down about a quarter to halfway little circles stipple circles stipple and see if it works with a beauty blender we're blending it out yep works with that too Okay, for blush, I'm going to do a cream blush as well from Rare Beauty. It is in the shade Bliss. It's a nice light pink color. It is so cute. I'm just going to do three dots on each side. Take a little sponge and just start tapping that pink out. For my under eyes, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear Concealer and take a blender and start blending that under the eye. For highlighter, it is also a cute little guy from Milk Makeup Jade Lit. Here's what it looks like. And I'm just going to do a little V on each side little down my nose. Now that I have it where I want it, so I'm just going to take my beauty blender and start blending it out and pushing it into the skin. Gives it more of a natural type glow, nothing too crazy. 
I'm gonna take a little bit of a setting powder in the Maybelline Fit Me shade 15 light. A little bit on here and just start dabbing it in. Okay, I'm gonna reach and go back into the eyeshadow palette to finish up. Do any last touch-ups and go into the bottom lash line. I'm gonna put the dark purple on the lower lash line as close to the lashes as possible and then i'll take the first light purple and just smoke it out a little more take some highlight as well and pop it right into the inner corners of my eye so the palette in my opinion was definitely worth it I got a crazy look like I was looking for I think everything came out phenomenal so far I'm gonna use the Maybelline New York lash sensational sky-high mascara Okay, lashes are done for lipstick today since it is such a crazy look I'm just gonna use a nice lip gloss from color pop in the shade Fantasia and to set my face I'm gonna go in with the elf stay all night microfine setting mist It is so cooling and refreshing so I can't wait to use this palette again you can get so many color combination looks out of this palette it is crazy I think it is just so cool you can do all the greens purples oranges blues you can definitely do naturals there's a lot of shimmers and mattes I really love the palette and I do think it is worth the price so I hope you enjoyed today's look. Stay tuned for my next video. If you have any requests you would like to see or learn how to do anything, please just let me know. See you all soon. Bye.